Hi, and welcome back to Baking with a Badger. Um, I have a light over there that's going to reflect a bit into my glasses, but we're just gonna have to deal with that because I don't know where to put it and it's dark outside, so I need the light. Um, but today we are going to do exciting things. We are going to bake some uh, treacle tart, which is Harry's favorite treat. Uh, it is so simple in like what you have in it, at least according to the BBC. I've done some research. I've never done this before. Um, and yeah, uh, it's gonna be fun to see if it's any good or not. I mean, it's, it's a fudge tart but it has breadcrumbs in it like in the in the filling part so i'm i'm not sure about the texture uh and the the crust still doesn't have any flavor at all so i'm excited for that um yeah it's a super simple i found the recipe on the bbc network's food thing i don't know uh, so that's going to be what we use as a link. They use grams and ounces and things and cups, uh, but they also use not only Fahrenheit, they use Celsius, which is the normal thing to do in every other part of the world, uh, except for like two parts. Um, but yeah, so we are going to use that recipe for the entire entire tart. Um, one of the main ingredients are the golden syrup that is hard to come by here in Sweden, as, as, at least from my experience I've tried to find it. I think it's in like specialty stores and stuff like that, but you can make it yourself. I've done that as well, so we're going to use that one. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so we're going to use homemade uh, syrup. I think I cooked it a little bit too long. It's a bit dense or like firm uh, for my taste. It's supposed to be like super runny like syrup, uh, but I don't have enough of it in this form. Uh, I got this from a friend. Um, but uh, we're just gonna have to make do. I don't want to make it again. I don't really have the energy to do that. Because uh, it's dark and I don't get any, any D vitamins. Um, but we're going to start with the, the crust. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bowl. And what does it say? Take a bowl, rub butter. So we're going to take a, a cold butter. Uh, I pre-diced this. Uh, and you put this here and I have long nails I cleaned them thoroughly before this but yeah it's gonna stick in like underneath my nails and then the flour down there now I'm go just going to rub them so that uh, it it like disperses no that's not the word uh, so that it incorporates into the flour this butter uh, until we have like crumbs. It's, it's supposed to be crumbly when it's done. Um, and after that we are going to uh, add, uh, according to the recipe, an egg. But I think that like anything moist, anything binding. Uh, so like, I think you can use like uh, whipped cream if you want to. Uh, you can probably use water as well if you want it to be so now we have like this crumbly texture uh, and if we press we're going to have like this but it, it comes apart fairly easily and that's what we want now I'm going to use uh, some uh, soy cream because that that's my go-to as you know I always use soy cream. I probably should use something else, but I don't care. I can do what I want. 
I'm just gonna take that. How much do I take? I think it was one egg. And the equivalent of one egg for cream ratio is half a deciliter. So that is 50 milliliters. 50 milliliters of whipping cream is the same as, or about the same as at one egg in like moisture ratio. So we do that because now we want a dough, we don't want this crumbly stuff. And, and we just incorporate that. There, we have our dough. I want all of the dough. Thank you. So, I don't need this one anymore. And there we go. And now, it says, we're gonna take this. It doesn't say to butter it or anything. Um, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, because I'm a good boy, uh, and I follow recipes now, uh, I guess. It really doesn't feel right <laughs> to not like, butter or do anything. But it just says, use the dough to line a loose bottom tart tin. This isn't a tart tin, uh, it's a baking tin, but I think it, it, it will do. Uh, it, you can take off the, the bottom, so it, it's, it's fine. Uh, so we are going to line this. I'm going to do this because I've found it to be easier to spread if you at first just pull some small pieces and just, just fill the bottom with it, with the pieces, instead of trying to spread it out from one lump. So we're just gonna do that. Because I'm smart. There, now I've done that. So I'm just going to press down and kind of Fill the bottom with this. I'm just gonna line it. I think it should go up into the edges as well. So we're gonna do that as well. There we go. I don't know how thick the bottom is supposed to be, uh, but I think it's decent. There we go. So this is our bottom of this tart. I think it's fine. I think some parts are uh, a little bit thicker than other parts, but eh, it's fine, I think. Now it says to um, use a fork to just poke a bunch of holes in the bottom. This lets steam out and it doesn't rise like it wants to when it's gluten in the dough. Uh, that's why if you ever bake and there's no baking powder or yeast or anything, it still rises. It's because the gluten uh, still wants to expand. It's going to probably go down uh, when you take it out of the oven. Uh, but we want it to be extra pretty. Pretty is not something else. It's when you want to stab something, I think. There we go! So that's our dough. It has some extra bits. Uh, and now we're going to... Um, leave it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna leave it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And do I have 
this face. Yes. Yes. We do. There. We leave it in the fridge for 30 minutes. It's for the uh, so the butter or the margarine in the dough gets some time to reset and reharden so it doesn't melt in the oven and it just stays up. So it's been about a uh, half an hour. I forgot to set a timer, but I think it's time. Uh, so we're taking out this. It still looks beautiful. Beautiful. And what I want to do is pull up that one and bigger one. So I, I take one of these and I crumple it up. This makes it more malleable when I put it into this thing. So we want to cover uh, this with the uh, baking paper. There we go. So we cover it with the baking paper and this is to keep let it keep the shape and to uh, prevent burning or caramelization on the top before uh, like before we take it out. We don't want it to be too brown. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to take some rice to weigh it down. We can use uh, dried beans, um, dried peas, there's uh, like baking stones, uh, but I found that just regular rice works just fine. Oh, and this is just to weigh it down uh, so that it, the edges keeps itself on the edge and uh, nothing pops up too much. So that's what we want. Go. Now we take it into the oven. It's going to be in the oven for about uh, 15 minutes before we take it out and we uh, take off this baking paper and then we bake it some more just to get like a golden color. Yeah. So now it's been about like 12 minutes or something. Um, almost 15, something like that. Uh, my alarm went off a while ago and uh, that was 10 minutes. So we are going to uh, take this out. Let's see, we take it out like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and just lift this out. And you see that it is like the uh, butter has started melting, but it hasn't uh, got this here, but it hasn't uh, risen. It's been, it's a little bit poofy, but not too much. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put that back to get like a great crust, uh, golden color-ish. Like that. It's going to stay in there for, I would say, maybe five minutes uh, tops. And while that stays in, this, in the oven, it's cold. I know words. We are going to make our filling. So, what we're going to do is it says um, we just Pour everything out in, and that's it. Okay. So what we need is we need our syrup, which is almost like a, a, like a caramel 
but we're not gonna be deterred by that. We're just gonna go ahead. So that's what we have. go amazing there there's our syrup and we need some of this uh, lemon juice freshly juiced we need some lemon zest as well from that lemon go we have the breadcrumbs because that's the thing and then it says to have like a generous pinch of ginger ground ginger uh, I'm just gonna have like a tiny pinch because I know that Robin isn't a huge fan of ginger and now we just mix these together. Hopefully they will mix. I might need to heat this to mix it. Yeah, so we've made our filling and it's supposed to be gloopy, I think. As I've said, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's supposed to look. Um, it smells kind of lemony, gingery, caramel, kind of. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about the smell. But I think that our crust is ready to be filled. I think the edges have a nice color. It's such weird. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to be, get better than that. Uh, it's still a bit pale, but I don't have the time or the energy to wait. So we're just gonna pour this in into the crust. Hope that it fits. Oh, it's perfect. The perfect amount. And this is going into the oven for about like 30 minutes, I think. Uh, so this is going to go here for about 30 minutes. The same degree, I think. And yes. Pour the green ingredients in a bowl and pour it into the pastry case. Return to the oven and bake for about 30 minutes. I remembered. So that's what we have. It's very like lemony. Hmm. Oh well. I will leave that there. I will set the timer for 30 minutes and uh, I will be back. It will be a second for you. It will be 30 minutes for me. I will go play some games in the meantime. My, my job is so hard. <sighs> Bye. There we have it. I mean, it's it's not perfect, but at least it didn't begin to run outside. It didn't uh, crack. Kind of soft still. So yeah, I'll let this cool down in room temp for a bit. Then I'll. And I serve it to Robin and we'll see how he thinks of Harry's uh, favorite treat. I mean, he is the one that plays Harry on our channel, so it's, it's, it's just right to give this to him. 
right? And there's nothing you can do in this. So our Harry will eat Harry's favorite treat. I will not put my hand on it, but I I kind of want to. But I won't. We'll see how good it is. It says that it says that it can be eaten while it's hot. So maybe we should cut it up while it's hot, just to see how the inside looks. Ooh. And there we have it. I mean, I think the crust, I, I think I made the crust a little bit too thick and it might be underbaked because of that. But, I mean, it, it kind of looks good. It smells weird. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, it smells sweet with some lemon hints. Uh, more than that, I can't smell because it's mainly just flour and bread crumbs. I mean, it could be... It, it kind of says a lot about Harry, honestly. Just like, yeah, I like this really. This, this is the favorite, favorite thing that I can think of even after going to Hogwarts and having anything that I can think of. I still just like a simple tart with syrup in it. That's, that's it. Just like sugar and bread. It's a, it's a simple boy with simple pleasures. Welcome! <laughs> yeah, I was not waiting outside the frame at all. Special guest, never seen before. Oh. It's me! Yes. Okay, what do we have here? So we have a triple tart, like a simple triple tart. Thought that maybe you wanted to taste it because you are our Harry and it's his favorite treat. I don't know. I The thing is, I've never looked up like what a triple tart looks like, no. ever. And this is not what I thought it would look like. No, the same. I didn't think it was like this either. What did you imagine? I mean, I thought like a trickle tart, like when I just heard the name, mm. I thought it was just kind of these uh, sugar coated um, like berries in a tart. Okay. Uh, and like with maybe some chocolate in the bottle no, or something that's, like that's, that. That's, that's way like, more French like than Like super, English. super fancy because I'm like, yeah. Like you're a fancy boy. You're a fancy boy. No, you are. Yeah, I'm a fancy boy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. No, and, I, I imagine like, I had this really English Im image in my mind because they like to in like include fruit in their actual baking. Yeah. So for some reason, I imagined it as you know those like upside down cakes where you have like yeah, fruit like in the fruit, bottom and fruit, then you have like batter yeah. on top of it and you turn it over and then yes. you have something like you have the fruit syrup trickle yes. down. That's what I thought a of trickle tart. Trickle, trickle tart. Because yeah. it trickles down. Yeah, it's a trickles mm -hmm. down. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought it was. That, that it's it's disgusting those cakes. No, 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 no shaming British if, people. If you say that it's good, then you're wrong. Uh, mm. That's just okay. Uh, let's be fact. diplomatic here and just. Uh, <laughs> oh. This, this is, not, this is not that. No, this is not that. This is basically just bread and syrup. That that's all it is. That that's and and some lemon. Well, it does smell like fudge, sort of. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh yeah, that's very fudgy. Very fudgy. I think that I made my own golden syrup. That I made the syrup a bit more um, dense than it should be, but mm -hmm. I think it, it should be fine. Works very really well. Mmm, the lemon is nice. It's not at all as sweet as I thought it would be. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it's not, I mean, there is sweetness, but it, like, comes in gradually. Yeah. Mmm. I mean, it's, it's very, like, underwhelming. No, I don't think so. I think this I is mean, very nice. You don't like it? I mean, it's, it's fine. Well, maybe you have more <laughs> of a sweet tooth. Probably. Mmm. Oh, I think it's nice. The texture is very nice. The texture is very nice. Mm. That was, was what I was 
the most concerned about mm -hmm. because of the breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. No, it worked really well. Mm -hmm. Is there breadcrumbs in the actual yeah. fudge? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe that's why, why it has that, like, it's chewy, but it's not, it doesn't stick to your teeth. Yeah. I say as I <laughs> get it out of my teeth. <laughs> Mm, this is nice, I like it. Mm. And I especially love lemony desserts, so... This is better than what I imagined it would be. <laughs> I was concerned about, like, is there gonna be pineapple in this? Yeah. Pineapple. Well, I uh, like pineapple raw, but I don't like pineapple in... Like cooked pineapple? No, not cooked pineapple. Yeah. And people who have pineapple and pizza, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. We say to our friends. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're looking at you, we you know who you are. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna bring this with me. Yeah, go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Whoop. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it was kind of a success. I mean, I find it kind of un underwhelming, but I like like bold flavors, and I have a sweet tooth. But it's not too sweet, and it's it's like. It has a balance between the flavors. It just like it doesn't taste bready. It doesn't have any weird textures because of the the crumbs. Because the breadcrumbs actually soaked up the moisture and made it really nice and firm. So yeah, with the with the whipped cream, it was super nice. I think the recipe said like double cream or something like that, and I don't know what that is. It's probably some kind of whipped cream or something. Um, but just regular whipped cream and this, uh, it tastes good. It's, it's nice. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like if you had, if you want a dessert, but you don't want it to be, to be too sweet and you don't want to make too much of a hassle, then this could be your go-to dessert because it's, it's super easy, especially if you can find a golden syrup beforehand to buy. It's really nice. Yeah, I I recommend it. Yes, do it. Um, and if you have anything else that you want me to make, um, just comment down below and let me know if you have any suggestions. Uh, I would probably not do uh, a Harry's birthday cake as I've seen many of you try to make me do because I don't know what's in that. It would be entirely up to me what what it is and it's mostly just decoration but and i i'm not the decorating type i don't decorate that much um i bake and i want to know what's in it or i or at least have something hinted at what it, it is and uh, but yeah i have some ideas but i want to know what you want Trickle tart was one of those things that you wanted me to do, uh, so I I did. It. Are you happy now? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's good. Um, tell me what I can do more because I like like to bake, um, and I like to to, to share it with you, uh, especially the things that I haven't done before. It, I find it very exciting uh, to try them. Um, Otherwise, I just make stuff that I already know that I can make. Um, and this was especially exciting because I couldn't find uh, the golden syrup anywhere. It's probably somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And uh, that's like, then I had to do it from scratch. So this was a, this was a fun experiment and I want to do more. And you guys can hit me up with what I should do. Um, and I, I still don't really know how to end these, um, but um, yeah, uh, I hope you will stay healthy and happy and enjoy everything else that we have planned. Yeah. Bye.